Dateline Hollywood. Our long national nightmare is over. The Writers Guild strike comes to a close. But what was it that brought the writers off the picket line? Was it unprecedented union solidarity? Massive public support? The tragic loss of the Golden Globes? Or something far more sinister? What diabolical plot did the dream merchants put into action to break the writers' will? Find out the truth in Attack of the D-Girls. Thanks for coming in my office, I appreciate that. Okay, we just need to go over a couple of things about what uh, little couple of notes I have written down. All the classic American comedies, like American Pie and um, American Pie 2, have really clear, simple, streamlined goals. Do you think that you could maybe word all this jurisdiction talk to me in that way? I don't see American Pie. Uh like in one sentence that we can put on a poster. Give me like a sum up of the strike, what it's for. Huh? Look, okay, DVD residuals lack relatability. I mean, we're all like losing our mortgages. I mean, can we just do something that's more clear? Like, wants to nail the prom queen. Do you have a black best friend? Oh, I, uh, I used to, but he died. Oh, bummer. Look, I took a seminar, not important, but the thing that I do know is that a protagonist, every single one of them, they need a moment of doubt. A moment of doubt. Where's that here? I don't know about that. I have not a clue. Could someone want to pick it, but then they can't because they have some sort of handicap or, um, childhood trauma like like uh, I'm just rambling here but maybe their father uh, beat them with picket signs and now every time they see one they burst into tears you know I think that could really personalize the issue here you know this strike is boring Ugh, it's a little like this it's a little like this um, I need this okay the strike is an art film we need a movie we need a movie those people are honking because they want movies okay um so, so at the end of Act Two, um, um, Which is there's Wednesday? Yeah, sure okay. on Wednesday. Right. Uh, at the end of Act Two, we find out that that there's like a killer virus, right? That's been unleashed, and the writers have been like passing it around on the picket line. The passion of the strike. Mel Gibson striking. <laughs> take it, take it. I don't have time for you now. I feel like. Broad humor is really in right now, and you know, if you could do something like give all the picketers diarrhea or something, I mean, I think that would really, really push this to the next level. Right. Um, torrential rain, um, blizzard. I'm sorry, I'm totally, the burrito is just reacting, but I'm sorry, I just gotta digest it. Some snow, dark, midnight. Have you ever had, like, just ate this whole, like, ate a whole burrito and you knew you should have stopped midway through? Ugh. Why can't I stop when I'm full? I don't know. Yeah, but see, eventually they all give in. That's what makes the strike a strike. Boring, dull. I'm not going to pay $15 to go to the arc light and see that. Everybody <laughs> loves the happy ending. <laughs> Studiofred.com um, we just want to get paid, right? Just get paid for the internet and get paid for what the work that we do. Okay, well the internet's stupid. You're never going to get money off that.